Hello? Hello, can you hear me? All right. In today's conversation, I want to talk to you about how to get a large personal loan from Marcus by Goldman Sachs with bad or fair credit. Don't go anywhere. You're going to love today's conversation. I guarantee it. Welcome back, folks, to another edition of the Awesome Sweetie Kiwi Show. How are you today? I hope you're all doing fantastic. I'm doing marvelous. If you are to ask me, if you are doing as great as I am, go grab a cup of coffee or tea or vodka and let's roll. <laughs> In today's convo, I want to talk to you about something you will love. How do you get a large personal loan from Marcus by Goldman Sachs with bad or fair credit? The thing here is that people believe that simply because you have poor credit, you cannot qualify for a loan with Goldman Sachs, with Marcus from uh, Marcus by Goldman Sachs. That is not true. You just have to know how to play the, uh, the games here. And Marcus by Goldman Sachs wants to make personal loans to uh, borrowers with all kinds of credit profiles. The only thing is you have to know their roles. You have to know their risk mitigation roles to know how to play the whole thing. And the step-by-step -step here. First, you need to get to know Marcus before you you can actually even think about getting a, a bad credit or a fair credit loan from them. You need to know the, the kind of behemoth we're talking about here. Now, Marcus by Goldman Sachs obviously is an entity owned by Goldman Sachs, and everybody knows that Goldman Sachs is really a, a colossus in the you know on Wall Street. They've been around. They've been doing investment banking. They've been doing a lot of B two B commercial banking for the last uh, 150 years and lately they have uh, shifted their strategy and now they're doing retail banking and uh, Marcus is actually uh, an offspring of uh, their um, idea about retail banking. The bank is well run, the bank is really solid, they actually lean to all kinds of credit profile, okay? I want, I really want this to go into your mind to believe that you don't have to shun, you don't have to avoid all the big banks simply because you have a few derogatory items in your credit profile. No, today I'm going to break all those myths and I'm going to show you. Now, Marcus, right now, they are the, the way they're structured, they are structured as an online bank, but they do offer a constellation of products that appeal to all kinds of credit profiles okay and one thing i want you to understand here is that marcus by goldman sachs uh, they are actually a present in the personal space in other words they do personal loans they also have savings for b2c so that's the retail banking but they also have partnered lately with uh, amazon to start actually um i would say issuing business financing to amazon sellers okay and this is according to experts we have spoken to during our research this is just the beginning for a long journey that will actually make Marcus by Goldman, Goldman Sachs be uh, an important player in that space in the years to come. So the first step is to get to know Marcus, right? So I, gave, I just gave you a synopsis of the business. The second thing you need to do, if you want to get a large personal loan, I'm talking here 50,000 or 40,000 or 30,000 with the Marcus you want to bank with Marcus in other words You want to actually give them a chance to know who you are to actually see the other side of you Right because when you have bad credit people believe automatically that at least lenders they might believe automatically that you have um, uh, I would say a sclerotic a, a, a Negative uh, financial situation. No, I know a lot of people in this country from coast to coast who have bad credit, but they do have a strong financial situation. In other words, they have some moolah in the bank account. Are you in that situation? Do you have some cash in the bank account? If you do, then you want to actually transfer part of it to Marcus. In other words, you're showing them that, hey, listen, I might have bad credit right now, but I'm working on it. And I have some kaching, kaching, kaching that I want to invest with you guys. So with Marcus, when I say bank with Marcus, they have savings products, okay? So they they have a, a seven month no penalty CD. A CD stands for a certificate of deposit, okay? Then they have online savings accounts, all right? They have twelve month CDs, okay? And uh, now I'm not saying that the interest rates are extraordinarily high. No. <laughs> Because as a matter of fact, you are going to get some peanuts in terms of APR. Don't get me. I'm not saying this is just for for Marcus. A lot of uh, 
players in the space right now because of the Fed and, uh, and the economy, the rates are abysmally low. OK, but you got to park some of your cash with Marcus if you want to actually get a loan from them, especially if you have bad or fair credit. So my question to you is, are you willing to do that? OK, so let, let's move on. So besides savings, you can actually also invest. They, they offer investment products. Do you want to invest in the stock market? Do you want to do you want to learn about stocks and bonds? Do you want to invest in uh, ETFs and mutual funds? That's, a, that's the decision time for you right now to think about it, the extra cash that you have. If you have a little bit of, you want to take a little bit of risk, right? If you're if you're not if you're a risk taker, then go ahead and and do uh, do some investments with Marcus. They have uh, tons of services that will help you. And I'm not saying here anything about speculation. I'm talking about legit. Uh, the kind of uh, assets, the kind of securities, the kind of investments that will appeal to the masses. Nothing very risky, nothing very, uh, not, not nothing too risk averse also. So you can do that with Marcus, all right? So they offer savings accounts and investment accounts. So they, that's a, they have an ETF, so it's a ETF product, okay? They have a daily portfolio management product and they, would ju they just want you to invest with them like uh, about $1,000. They have a Goldman Sachs Core, the Goldman Sachs Impact, and the Goldman Sachs Smart Beta. Next, what I want to I want you to really understand Marcus personal loan, right? Because folks, today's conversation is all about how to get a loan from Marcus by Goldman Sachs with fair or poor credit, right? This is why why we're here, okay? And the thing here is that what are the what are the requirements of that loan? Minimum credit score that Marcus wants you to have is a 600 vintage score or a 660 FICO score. Now, those are the standards that the risk management department at Marcus has set. However, Marcus can go low in their FICO score when it comes to a loan review and approval. And how low can Marcus go in terms of FICO score when reviewing loan applications? 545. So the standard is 660, but if you have the right application, if you put forward the right application, they might go as low as 545, okay? Although the bank keeps its underwriting criteria proprietarily, we have seen in our research that Marcus loan specialists can go as low as 545 if an applicant shows other strong criteria to counterbalance his or her negative credit worthiness criterion, right? As I said, Simply because you have bad credit right now doesn't mean that your financial situation overall is sclerotic, is lethargic. No, 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 no. You might have a bad issue. You might have some, you know, bad credit that happens to everyone. I mean, not everyone. It might, it could happen, right? This is part of life. Stuff happens, you know, certain issues in the past that have made you uh, tilt in that, um, in that direction. But you can you probably have a good job you can have a good job you can have a good business and it's just that a credit score takes time to uh you know to to polish itself if i could speak that way but the thing here is that when, when we talk about marcus personal loan they they want you to have a minimum income of uh, around two thousand dollars per year uh, per month rather and age, you must be at least 18 years old, 19 in Alabama, 21 in Mississippi and Puerto Rico. You must be a U.S. citizen, permanent resident, or immigration visa holder. And you got to have a social or ITIN. This is the indiv individual taxpayer identification number. You got to have a verifiable U.S. bank account. And uh, Marcus allows you to see if you're pre-qualified online without affecting your credit score. We we'll love that feature. That's fantastic. That way, you're not risking anything, right? You're not risking a hard pull. So your FICO score is not going to lose weight unnecessarily and if you want to apply you can call you can do you can do it online or you can call 1-844-627-2871 okay marcus does not, does not allow joint personal loan applications though so this is something you need to pay attention to and in terms of their apr the uh as the app the apr oscillates between 699 and 1999 and the loan amount 3500 all the way to 40 grain okay 40 grain i'll be right back right after this don't go anywhere Welcome back, folks, to another section of the Awesome Security Kiwi Show. I'm still having a conversation with you about how to get a loan, a personal loan, a large personal loan from Marcus by Goldman Sachs with fair or poor credit. 
And uh, the thing here is that when we speak about markets, they, they have other types of loans. OK, what if you don't you don't qualify for a, a, a large personal loan? Do you have a backup plan? You better have a backup plan, right? I mean, if your goal is to get a, a loan with uh, Marcus, you better have a backup plan. So if, if they deny you, let's say hypothetically, right, they deny you and they say for some reason, you know, they don't like your, your application. OK, no problem. The cool thing here is they do have other products that you might qualify for. For example, they do offer a home improvement loan. Are you a homeowner? Are you paying mortgage? Are you paying a mortgage right now? Do you have some kind of uh, improvements you want to do in the house? But then, yeah, Marcus could be a good because they have good rates, too. As a matter of fact, they actually um, and the thing here is that uh, when we talk about uh, home improvement loans, at least they see some kind of assets. Right. So even if you have bad or fair credit, they could still lend you because they see the asset. Of course, the home improvement loan is not a collateralized loan. But for them, the fact that you have an asset and, and especially if you have equity in that asset, if you have home equity, if you have built some equity in the house, this is pretty good. So when you when you have when you present to them that picture, all of a sudden things look rosier, right? So you can you can if you're planning a home improvement in the kitchen, the bathroom, flooring, windows, interiors, additions, plumbing, electrical appliances, and much more, Marcus A might be your destination of choice. Okay, and the thing here is that um, the way Marcus understands home improvement loans, for them it is an unsecured loan that you can use for home improvements, repairs remodels and renovations so those are the four elements they look at home improvements repairs remodels and renovations okay so th this is th this is basically it and uh, the the terms are pretty similar so they're not changing anything in terms of terms so the loan will range from uh, the loan amount will range from 3500 okay all the way to 40 grand and then uh, the interest are the interest uh, band is the same so 699 percent to 1999 percent apr so this is pretty something you need to think about, okay? And uh, they also offer a home equity line of credit, okay? And this is a pretty much collateralized, okay? And so yeah, this, those are the two things you can uh, explore if you get denied for a personal loan at Marcus. Step number five, folks. The question here is, uh, folks, I've been talking to you for the last uh, 10 minutes or so. I've been talking to you about how to get a, a loan from Marcus a large a large loan right we're not talking about a, a small loan here okay because check this out whether you apply for thirty five hundred dollars or you apply for thirty thousand dollars you're getting a hard pull anyway your FICO will lose weight so you might as well go for the the big enchilada right why go for a five grain if you need 10 grand or 15 or 20 grain all right so step number one get to know Marcus step number two bank with Marcus number three I ask you to understand market markets personal loan right step number four explore other loans step number five now we're talking here about getting organized are you organized where is your paperwork where is your financial paperwork talk to me talk to me talk to me where is where are your tax returns do you have a folder do you have them electronically do you have them uh, paper uh, in paper form what are your bank statements what are those do you track your, your finances? Do you have a budget? This is the kind of stuff I want you to think of. This is decision time, folks. Think about that. You got you got to get organized because Marcus, they, once they start looking at your application, if they feel like, oh, well, here is an applicant who is not really organized, you are actually, um, you are reducing your chances, okay? So there are a lot of um, documents you need to get ready. Uh, we have, uh, so we have your credit, the credit application itself. The proof of identity, driver's license, passport, state, state uh, issued ID, certificate, certificate of citizenship, your birth certificate, military ID, whatever it is, your employer and uh, income verification documents, pay stubs, tax returns, W 2s 1099s, your employer's contact uh, information, all that kind of good stuff. Your bank statements, bank statements are, are important. They want to see your proof of address, and you can actually uh, call, you can actually uh, substantiate that through a utility bill, lease, or rental agreement, for example, right? Your mortgage statements. That's a great way to show that you have. Uh, this is a great way to show address where you live. Proof of insurance on your home, lease, rental, or vehicle, and a voter registration card. So, and, and this is the kind of stuff you need to have. Okay, don't contact Marcus by Goldman Sachs if you're not ready. 
Step number six, and this is where the whole thing gets even more interesting. You got to check your credit score. This is important, folks. You know, the funny thing is you cannot imagine how many times in our research we have seen folks who are actually, they believe they have bad credit, whereas in reality, they have good credit. They just didn't know about it. So they were sitting on the sidelines, not willing to get a loan because they were scared about having a, a, another hard pull, which will make their credit score lose weight faster than they will, they will lose weight themselves, <laughs> right? I mean, so you got to check your credit score. You need to check your credit score. And the cool thing here is that you don't have to pay for it because Congress has mandated that every year, every citizen get from uh, the three credit bureaus a free copy of uh, his or her credit, credit score, credit history, if you want a credit report, rather. Okay, and there is a website called annualcreditreport.com. You got to go on that website and you have to actually put up, pull all your social and all kind of information and you get your free credit report from Experian, TransUnion and Equifax. And this is once a year. And the cool thing here is that if you play, your, if you, if you play the game properly, guess what? You're getting three credit reports, three free credit reports. Why? Because you can actually apply for one at Experian in January, right? You can apply for another one in, Exper uh, in uh, TransUnion, for example, in uh, April, and the third one in Equifax. Boom, right? So remember that it's important to have your credit score because you can actually play, you can actually uh, discover derogatory items, dispute them if needed. You also will understand how your score comes, uh, how your score is calculated, right? Payment history accounts for 35%, very important to know. Amount owed accounts for 30%. The length of credit history accounts for 15%. And the uh, types of uh, credit you haven't used, 10%. And the account inquiries, another 10%. So I'm just trying to give you an idea. And the, the, the cool thing here is that by knowing your credit score beforehand, you're able to gauge your, your odds of approval, right? Because as I said, Marcus by Goldman, the underwriters there, they can go as low as 545 if you have the right strategy, if you have the right application. But guess what? Even if you get a loan from them and your score is 545 or your score is, uh, let's say, a 575, you are still getting a, a high APR, which is not a position you want to be in, right? Frankly speaking. Step number seven, folks. Again, folks, I am I am talking to you here about how to apply, how to get approved for a loan from a large personal loan from Marcus by Goldman Sachs if you have bad credit or fair credit. So right now, to apply at Marcus, you, you first okay, first of all, you want to actually contact them. And our preference here in uh, in this show is to always contact the lender. Nowadays, everybody can apply for a loan on the internet, and you probably love that. Everybody loves that, right? But the, the, but when it comes to lending, when it comes to borrowing, this is the only area where we advise people to constantly call, to constantly sit with the banker, not to do things electronically. If you conduct business, if you do all your all your borrowing applications on the internet, you are being taken care of. You are actually being taken care of by an algorithm. OK, it's not a human. It, nobody is just sitting around at City or at Chase or at Marcus by Goldman Sachs and seeing your application. No, those are there's a there's a put there by a bunch of engineers who just put things there and you just been taken care of by a machine, a robot. You don't want that. So contact Marcus, explain to them your situation. Tell them, please make sure you have an account with them. You need to have an account, either a savings account, um, a CD you need to have or an investment account you got to have something if you want to get a loan from there okay you want to contact them monday through friday 8 a.m through 10 p.m eastern or saturday to sunday 9 a.m to 7 p.m eastern okay that's that's their contact center and you can actually call the landing department this is a one 627 2871 the landing department is one 627 2871 of course this is toll free okay and uh, remember that markets can go as low as 545 when reviewing loan applications okay and uh, so once you do that once you contact them you can apply but before applying please double check your financial statements very important 
you want to follow up with Marcus uh, uh, on the application, you want to re respond to a request for evidence. If they ever contact you asking for more information, you want to reply to them. Don't ghost them, please. It's important. You want to show courtesy. You want to show professionalism here, and you want to contact them back. Okay, and if you ever don't get approved, try again uh, three or six months down the road. Maybe you might want to get a co-signer. You might want to work on improving your credit, right, by becoming, for example, an authorized user. And you can also choose to get a secure credit card at another bank, at another lender to actually beef up your uh, credit score. All right, folks, this was it for today's conversation. I was just talking to you about how to get a loan from Marcus by Goldman Sachs if you have bad credit or fair credit and I, I was not talking about just a small loan here i'm talking to you about a large loan okay 20 grand at least five digits okay all right so here are the step-by-steps number one get to know marcus number two you want to bank with marcus number three you want to uh understand marcus personal loan number four you want to explore other loans that are provided by marcus by goldman sachs number five you want to uh, get organized very important number six check your credit score and number seven contact marcus and apply thank you so much folks for your attention i really appreciate it i'll see you next time but until then remember stay marvelous